Welcome back. Hi, once again, I am Brent. I am Bubba's brother. We are talking about the Dollywood Tasting Pass. I'm going to go over the good, the bad, and the other items, which is not really good or bad, but it's just something that pertains to it. Um, so, first item on our good list is it's a good value because you can feed two people with it. Right, yeah, I mean, when you're at a theme park and you can feed two people for less than $40 or 35 to $40, that's a really good deal. You can't complain about that. So, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I mean, it's a really good value. That's what probably its biggest strength. And the value includes how many items for your pay? You, you get five items. So we always recommend you don't use your drinks. You use your either your free water or if you have the unlimited cup and use all five on food items that would need to Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, another good item, it allows you to try different things. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I mean it's fun you get five different items you can try and you can you know, it's just always fun to try different things and that that makes it exciting. It can be used for all and every festival. Well, I do in the festival. During any festival? No, not just the spring festival. Oh. So, uh, this one, so, like, if you, you can use it at any point during the spring festival. So, if you're going two different days, you don't have to use them all the same day. Hmm. But most people, I can't imagine, would go twice in one festival. Yeah, I mean, we no, don't I really, don't think I wouldn't good. recommend that unless you know for 100% certain yeah. you're going. Before. So, I can't roll it over to the summer fest, but no, by the spring. You, you have to use it during the spring. So, you know, if you know for certainly you can roll it over, but if you're, you know, I, I would probably recommend going ahead. But if you're going like Saturday and Sunday, you can use it. That would be your best strategy. It is shareable, another good thing. Yeah, so that's, the, you know, you can, you don't, and like you can legally share it amongst your, your family. You don't have to try to hide it or anything like that. So, Not that we would condone that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the bad. It is time consuming. Yeah, and the. What this means is that, you know, each station will only serve one thing. So, like, if you're at Wildwood Grove and one of the items you want is, you know, close to the entrance and skillet area, you're going to have to go all the way mm. over there. And if you've got a busy day with rides and festivals and lines and stuff like that, it can be time-consuming to go all the way around the park if you're looking for specific food, kind of like I am. Well, if you're like us, too, I mean, what I, a lot of the rides are that way. I mean, I think they space the whole park out to where, like, if I'm at Wildwood Grove and I want to go yeah. ride the kid rides at the carnival, it's, I swear it's at the other end of the world. And, yeah. that's, and the, the, it's done that on purpose. That's kind of how the food is. So. Yeah, like, that came up, like, last year. Like, his um, his son was at the, the country fair, and I wanted to get something that was in Wildwood Grove, and I had to go all the way over to Wildwood Grove and eat it and come back. And by the time I got there, they would then move on to another section of the More park. trouble than it's worth, that So you really have to kind of yeah. strategically plan it out. Right, yeah. Um, they force you to get singles. And, and it's high. Yeah, what that means is like, you know, it's let's say it's, 30, it's if you get one item, you're looking at 10 to $12. So if you're going to get two items, you're... $25 range, and you might as well spend an extra $10 and get three more. So that's kind of what, what that means is that they don't necessarily force you, but it makes more sense if you're going to get two items and go and get the whole tasting pass, mm -hmm. which means more money. The world famous cinnamon bread does not count. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so that's, you know, I think this ties in with the next one. So, so go ahead and read the next one. Limited sweet. Options. Yeah, there's only three options for the spring here, and um, and I think my theory is I think they do that so you will go get the cinnamon bread. Um, there, there's only three options. The waffle funnel cake is the the funnel cake is just way too small. Well, I mean, you get three bites out of it. It's great, but it's too small. But the, <laughs> the, the waffle sandwich is there. That's the highlight of it. But you know, I kind of think that they're not giving you a lot of sweet options. To uh, not because they know most people will get the cinnamon bread as but well. But they don't have any trouble selling cinnamon bread. Right. It's always long. So. Unless they saw the studies and it went down last year based off people getting the tasting pass. And like, so this is the second festival in a row that these sweet options have been limited. Mm. Okay. All right. Moving on to the other section. And go and tell them the price as well. 
So we're going to put tell the price in the middle of the thing. No, that'll <laughs> work. Don't need to start with that. Okay. It is regular price thirty-seven dollars. The gold discounted price gets to thirty-four dollars, and that does not include taxes or fees. Yeah, I thought the wording so, of that was interesting because obviously we know what taxes is, which I think that's about three dollars or so. Roughly, yeah, right? roughly, yeah. Yeah, so your thirty-seven dollars gets you forty dollars, uh, but. They, I don't know what fees would be. I don't know if that's just. I, I don't. Yeah, taxes you're going to pay if you go. Yeah, out that out of could just be a legal way of covering that. So I, I don't think they'll it's add. Strange that you I don't think they that. would add fees, but it is kind of interesting to see how that shakes out. Right. Moving on to the other portion, they have smaller portions. Well, we're projecting smaller portions because they they raised the price like maybe two dollars or something like that. I think it was, but we would project smaller portion sizes. That's just kind of, you know, I'll put that in the other category just because we don't know that for sure. But I think that would be what you would think because they did not raise the price all that much. I believe you've already covered this. It's best to use your free drinks, but don't don't purchase. But they have a lot of fruity drink options. Too, yeah, because a lot of times you, what you're paying, if you do the math of what it costs you, the drinks are usually about $5. So you mm -hmm. actually are costing yourself money by using the drink option. Yeah. Um, they have nothing new, and the, there's no f new food options. Yeah, most of the food is the same. There's a couple of new, like maybe two new things or something like that. But uh, and, and one of them is the Twisted Dog, which if you're watching my video, you know how much I hated that. Unedible. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, what's, that can be a good thing. I mean, some people, you know, had their favorites and they want to try again. But uh, to me, I think that's kind of a negative just because – you know, you look forward to it. it. Yeah. So, but you know, that can be good or bad depending on the thing. All right, a lot for one person. Yeah, and that came up with me. You know, as a single guy, you can eat five things in one day, but you. It, there was no shortage you know, of freeload volunteers in our group yeah, that was willing to help out I with mean, that. But trying to get five. Things in one day is a lot of food, and then it's time consuming as the other one. Well, you're, you're only eating two meals, more than likely. You're probably not eating yeah. breakfast at the park, so it, more it, than likely, because it opens at 10. Right, so you're yeah. Doing, yeah. You, you're not counting it for breakfast, so you lunch, and you, you'd have to stay for dinner. To, it's probably more for families, where you buy it, you know you're going to buy that for you, your wife, your kids, this, that, and the other, and you're going to knock out five items easily. Yeah, if you're there so, for the well, because you probably don't want to be eating five meals. No. So, all right. The last item, buy and use the first punch. What? Well, I'll, I'll say this. Finish that for me. <laughs> My handwriting was bad. I don't know this for sure, but last time when I went and bought mine, they said that I could have, um, if you use your first punch when you buy it, you save the taxes, is what the cashier told me. That could be wrong. But that that is something that we'll have to try out. That doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me, but that's what she said. We're still selling a pass, regardless. I, you know. That's what I was told. We have not tried that out ourselves. We'll have another video in the future about that. So um, I'm honestly on the fence about getting the tasting pass. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see some reviews. Of them. You could take the page out of our family, which is starve yourself, <laughs> load up on the continental breakfast at the buffet, starve yourself at the park, and then load back up once you leave the park and drink <laughs> free ice water. So that's the way to save a $40 plan. And bum one of my bum And bum off <laughs> yes. So, so. Um, that's it. That's, you know, that will – Kind of a good review of whether or not the pass is for you or not for you. For me personally, even though I'd be feeding three people with it, I, I don't care to spend that on it. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, I mean, some people, why it is a good value. Because I do have the drink thing, so I don't need the drinks. So. I mean, it's, you know, do you want to spend $40 mm -hmm. on food? You may... I mean, that's it's not, not going to be because if I, we usually buy kettle corn and we get pizza or burgers. Yeah, or something, and, so and just, that's why I think you know why yeah. I want to say that about cinnamon bread is that you know if you and do buy bread, if obviously. you do buy the cinnamon bread addition to you, then all of a sudden you spend fifty dollars on food. So yeah. that's something that some people when we buy cinnamon bread, bread, it's dictated by whether whether the line's long or not because I, I I don't care mm -hmm. to wait in line an hour, so, and most right. people don't. So yeah, so um, anything else? No, we do recommend the cinnamon bread, though. World famous. Even if you have to pay for it and wait in line, it is worth it. It's still good. 